The possibility of China placing a 25% tariff on soybeans imported from the United States has been discussed much in recent weeks, and we take up that topic in our, our, our April 17th Farm Doc Daily article. In that article, we simulate the financial performance of a 1,700-acre grain farm that's located in McLean County, Illinois, and has high-productivity farmland. We simulate that performance in 2008 through 2021, a four-year period, and we do that, we simulate that performance with and without a 25% soybean tariff. In this podcast, we're going to focus on the incomes that result from with and without the soybean tariff, but in the article, we also give detail on ending balance sheet values that will likely exist in 2021. We develop prices for the baseline without the imposition of the 25% soybean tariff and under the Chinese tariff. For the baseline, we assumed that soybean prices would be 970 in 2018 and 950 in the years after that. With the tariff, we assumed that soybean prices went from 970 in 2018 down to 885. The first year was the largest decline because there was no acreage response. From the 885 value in 2018, prices on soybeans are assumed to go up to $9 in 2019, 2020, and 21. The tariff was also assumed to lower corn prices from 370 to 350 in 2019, 2020, and 21. The reason it went down was because there would be an acreage response. In the United States, more acres would go into corn and less acres would go into soybeans. Those price responses resulted in less income over the 2018 through 2021 period. Net farm income for a 1,700 acre farm averaged $50,000. After the Chinese tariffs were put into place, assuming those price declines we had $6,500 of income. So incomes went down more than $40,000. The price declines would likely lead to cost declines as well. Nonline cost, we assumed, went down by $10 per acre by 2021, and we also assumed that cash rents went down. Over the three-year period from 2019 through 2021, we assumed that cash rents down by $30 per acre. Those cost declines resulted in a higher income, and our $6,000 income without, with only the price declines went up to $24,000. That $24,000 obviously is higher than that $6,500 with the lower prices, but still that $24,000 is a very low income. Some financial deterioration occurs on this simulated farm even without the tariffs being imposed. With the tariffs, there is serious financial deterioration. That would include loss of working capital, increase in debt-to-asset ratio, and loss of net worth. That deterioration occurs even when cash rents decline by $30 per acre. There would likely be a farmland price decline as a result of those tariffs because cash rents come down. If we assume a $20,000 price decline from 2018 through 2021, the net worth loss on this farm would be over $500,000. More detail on the 25% soybean tariff can be found in our April 17th Farm Doc Daily article.